Hi everyone, my name is Nechama from Arc Intelligence and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a topo surface from edges you already have in your model and we're going to do it using the environment plugin which was created especially for landscape architects or other site planning designers and it was made to help you avoid all these repetitive actions and to make the design process in Revit more efficient and fluid. So. The command today is of course surface from edge and I'm going to use it to complete this model right over here that's composed from a Revit link, a CAD link and of course surfaces in my model. Okay, so let's begin. So as you can see this house over here is a Revit link and I intentionally made it um, half tone so the difference would be noticeable and now let's say that I just want to create um, a front yard over here so I'm gonna go to the environment tab over here and then in the create surface um, command you just press the little drop down and click on surface from edge and so this little window is open so let's leave everything like that and just let's say we want um, five centimeters lower than the edge that we selected okay so let's click ok that's the height offset and now we're gonna stay with the whole edge for now and I'm gonna demonstrate all the options that we have here so when I hover over an edge and of course use the tab key I can simply um, select it and then let's say for example I selected an edge that I didn't want I simply have to click again on the same edge and it cancels the last selection and now over here I just I don't want to select this entire long edge I just want to finish it at the wall so I click on it again to cancel the selection and now let's hover over this area over here and now I'm just gonna select one point and go ahead and click on the point over here the connection and when, when I see that the topography is complete, I simply click apply and there you go. We have a complete perfect topography that goes and connects the edges that we want. And so I will demonstrate again to show you how it works with these round um, nice edges over here. So let's start again. Let's go to the environment tab side panel and click surface from edge and I'm gonna stay with whole edge right now and let's do it again I like it five centimeters of course it's gonna work um, with your um, model unit definitions and so I'm just gonna start selecting the edges and you can see that sometimes with round edges we might have to um, click multiple selections just to get the result that we want and now I'm going to go to one point because I want it to be kind of here and then go again to whole edge and just start making these selections so you can see that when I get to the round edge over here I do have to click um, a few more times than the straight edge and then of course one point again click here and then again over here let's give it another click and then click apply and now just like any other topo surface I can go over here and go to the messing inside and split surface command I just use the um, quick line tool um, to select the lines to split the surface with So as you can see it was really really easy to just cover the entire surface of this 
um, house backyard over here. And so I want to show you another feature in this command and I prepare these um, three little model lines. You can see over here they have elevation and I, let's say you want to create a topography from your model lines. So we go again to the environment tab and select the surface from edge. And now I'm going to simply check the box of chain. So this box is relevant in cases that you want to make a topography from model lines or from cut lines that you imported, imported to your model. So what the, uh, the chain box does, it simply allows you to select one segment of a line and then it automatically recognizes um, the entire line and creates this perfect topography um, along your line. So just see how simple it makes the entire uh, work process. And now let's go back to this um, CAD model that I have over here. And you can see that um, I have these um, contour lines that the road, road planner created. And then I can simply go to surface from edge again and click on the chain again. And you can see how easy it is to create this topo surface without having to go to the quarry command and check the specific layers of the contour lines. Um, and it's especially efficient in this case when I have a very, very big cut file and I only want to create a specific part of this um, topo surface of this road. And Let's say I'm going to click apply right now and finish it because I don't need the entire road for this um, tutorial. And last but not least, I want to demonstrate another um, very common situation where you already have a certain topography in your file or in other cases you linked a topography to your file using 360 um, beam, uh, whether it's a topography from Civil or another program. So you can use the surface from edge to, um, let's say we create a new topography using um, these lines. And let's say that we actually want to connect it to this topography over here. Let's choose the point option. And simply you can see that this command can also read edges of an existing topography. Of course, now I will have to um, um, to split it, but regarding to the elevations of this topography, the connection is really perfect. And so this is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, for more information about the environment plugin, you are more than welcome to check our website, arcintelligence.com. That's arcintelligence.com. And check out our product description for more tutorials and information. Thank you so much.